Hey Dave, come here quick, there's something you gotta see. That man has got a dancing bear tied up to that old tree. And it's dance, dance, Dakota dance, all around the country store. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. Well, it's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow Dakota and he dance some more. What's up YouTube? It's your girl the Mac of All Trades and I'm back with another DIY video. Yes y'all, you guys, it is time for a DIY crafting with Mac video. It has been a hot minute since I have done any kind of crafting here on my channel. So, um, I had this idea, right, for some new little wreaths to put on like my entertainment center slash tv armoire kind of thing you know what i mean so on each side i usually do like a wreath of some kind so normally it's like a eucalyptus wreath or whatever but you guys we're getting into the fall i've already got my house decorated for fall but i have some wreaths on there now and the colors of it i don't really like them on there and so i was like let's do a video and craft some so you guys i have some Dollar Tree products, which these beaded, already kind of pre-made, wreath, whatever. Those are from Dollar Tree. Then over here, I have some different stuff from Hobby Lobby. Because I like Hobby Lobby, um, like foliage, if I haven't said that right, <laughs> it sounded weird. Um, better than like Dollar Trees, because Dollar Trees just look kind of uh, cheap, you know what I mean? No shame, Dollar Tree. I understand you gotta keep it at $1.25. But we're gonna use some of the Hobby Lobby. And then I have some different little, like, of these little clip on pumpkins, okay, from, you guessed it, Dollar Tree. And so I also have some that are already in the package. These are more like sweater kind of looking ones that I have picked up recently. And then some little tiny velvet ones. We'll see what we're going to use, you guys. We'll fly by the seat of our pants and we'll just do whatever, you know, feels right in the moment. You know what I mean? So, that's noisy. Okay, so first things first, you guys. I'm going to take two of these because I want one on each side, right? So, two of these little beaded, they're 10 by 10 wreath forms from beaded wreath forms from Dollar Tree. I see where this piece is. So I want the wreath to kind of, I'm going to use that foliage to cover up over there or these picks, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to use on this wreath is this little pick of leaves that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off of the $2.99. And I'm just going to cut this down because we don't need all that extra stuff. Get this tag off of here, of course. Oh, so here where this part is at, you see that where it comes together. I don't need all that on there. So we're just going to cut this down. Because I want to start with these first little leaves. And I'm going to line this up. And I want this to kind of be right there at an angle and so we're just going to glue this part down on top of there and then I'm just going to cut this one down because we don't I don't need all of that part on there I think I might even cut that part off. We're going to use one of the two of these. I'm not sure which one yet. This bigger one, which we won't need that part. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of this leaf. And I'm going to glue that down onto that bead. So then I have 
some of these little stems. These were normally $2.99, but of course they were 40% off at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to cut this down as well. And I'm going to glue that one down. The other end and glue it right down there okay and then I have one of these little picks this was a dollar 99 with 40% off at Hobby Lobby and for this one since the stem on here is metal we're just gonna wrap this one around and so I'm only going to cut off part of it. And then what I want to do is like wrap this one around here so that it will stay in place. So we've got that right there. And then I want to add like a little pumpkin on there. So I think the best size will be these ones to add on here. And so we're just going to take one of those and I want to stick it right in there. Okay, and so I like it just like that. I like the simplicity of it. I'm gonna go ahead and make a second one and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, y'all, so we are all done. Here are what both little wreaths look like, you guys. So cute. And I would say like when everything's said and done, this probably cost about four to five dollars per wreath to make. And so now I'm just gonna go hang them on my TV armoire and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here's what one looks like. Now, I know it looks kind of bad with like that showing, but maybe I'll put like a ribbon or something over it or try to find a different hanger that'll match better. But here's what both of them look like on the TV armoire. And so I think it looks really nice, you guys. I love how simple they are. And so there's our little DIY beaded fall wreaths. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. It's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow the go to any dance more. Dance, dance to go to dance all around the country.